Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is the making of the drawers to go with my 1860s-ish ensemble. The last video I did with this was the chemise. Right here I am preparing the fabric for the pin tucks that I added. I did use the same pattern that I used for the chemise, but I added a lot. So I am of the opinion that you really can't have too much lace on underwear and I wanted to put all the embellishments that I could. So for each leg I cut out the pattern and then I sliced it in a couple of places to add the things I wanted to add. And one of those was three little pin tucks and then I did two bits two different bits of insertion lace and then some lace at the bottom which you will see just to make sure that everything looked clean right here what you see me doing is I've already finished the pin tucks on the the two legs and then here is the first insertion lace and once I sewed it on, I ironed it out and then used the edge of the insertion lace to um, wrap over the raw edge of the linen and then just machine, machine stitched it down. It covered all the raw edges and I think it made it look really good. I've used the machine for at pretty much everything in this particular project I didn't use any hand sewing I don't think After the pin tucks and the first bit of insertion lace, I sewed both of them to both legs and did the same thing to the other side of the lace, folding it over to take care of the raw edge and finishing the egg edge nicely. So this is the second bit of insertion lace. This one is the type of lace that the, li the ribbon will um, we weave through it. And I, again, can't talk today for some reason. At the end for decoration, I went ahead and sewed them to the little section at the very bottom, which will hold the ruffled lace at the very end and then again attached them to the two legs and did the same thing to finish all the seams. This is the lace that I ruffle and put on the bottom and I only had I think two yards of it and so I cut it exactly in half and ran the gathering stitch that you see here through each and then gathered it to fit the leg.
Once that was sewn on and ironed out, I couldn't use the gathered edge of the lace to wrap around the linen like I had with the other lace, so I used twill tape and folded it in half, basically sewed it to the inside that you'll see and encased both raw edges in it and then top stitched it down. I love how it turned out. Everything looked exactly like I had pictured in my mind before I started it. I got all of these laces off of Etsy from different shops and one of them actually came in cream colored when I thought it was going to be white so I did have to bleach it to match the rest of them and you can't even tell in my opinion. For the split crotch seam, it's a mixture of felling the seams, um, where the the small place where they're actually sewn together, and then just finishing the seams where it splits all the way back up to the back waistline. So I just machine stitched that down again. Once that was done, which you can see here a little bit, I think the next thing that I did was run two rows of gathering stitches across the top there. And this pattern has, yeah, there it is, a lot of bulk. If I were to make them again, I probably would cut out some of the linen, but this was my first one and I wasn't sure how the pattern was gonna work it did seem like a lot I wish I'd kind of gone with my gut and trimmed it down but they're fine I'm not gonna take this out and redo it it's just if, if I ever make any more I would uh, take some of the linen out for the waistband which was next I sewed the side seams together and then here um, I'm sewing the two the front and back of the waistband together. I'm going to trim the seams, clip the corners, uh, clip the curves, and flip it, iron it, and it will be sewn to the gathered edge of the drawers with right sides together on just one of the pieces, and then the back piece of the waistband will flip over to the back, and then I will sew it down. So that process is in and out here.
In a bit, you'll see a ribbon show up around the waistband. I didn't include any of that footage of putting that on it because the ribbon frayed as soon as I started actually putting any tension on it and it didn't work. And so I ended up taking all of that out and sewing um, just cotton twill tape on to use it as a, as a tie around the waist. And that part didn't get done until after the video. So when you see it at the end, you'll see the ribbon around the waist, but that ends up going. This was fun. I loved putting the ribbon in there. The pink ribbon is just beautiful. And it turned out so pretty. And then finished it off with a little bow on either side. I couldn't be more pleased with how the legs look on this. I love, love, love all the lace. And then the last little finishing touch there that I did was the same lace that I put across the collar on the chemise and the sleeve cuffs. I had just enough left pretty much to put across the waistband of the drawers. I love it. Other than the extra fullness of the linen, I really couldn't be more pleased with how my first set of drawers came out. They match the chemise perfectly. I show them here on my dress form and I did tuck the chemise in because I was trying to actually get the details of the drawers. But I hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to show you the corset next.